There's no reason creativity should clash with science. In fact, the two blend nicely. The UT Gardens features butterflies, real ones here and there, but also wooden paintings, a display called Wings of Wonder. Brought to life by 25 talented people, from school children to professional artists, the butterflies are mounted in such a way that they seem to float and flutter in the wind. Sarah Brooks created this piece she titled Radiant Being. Um, yeah, so it started out more with more like a graffiti feel, and then it, it morphed from there and definitely went in this very mosaic-y looking, you know, dot painting that it turned into. And it, it's not how it started, but it definitely came together really nicely with all the different colors incorporated, I feel like. We have different artists from around the Knoxville area. They're all given a uh, about a two foot by two foot uh, butterfly silhouette made of marine grade plywood so it can stay outside and then they're asked to embellish it in any way that they um, feel they want to express. Before the wooden butterflies were displayed, volunteers coated them with protective seals against the elements, cementing the bright colors. Then the butterflies were installed in the gardens and opened to the public with this fun reception. Wings of Wonder highlights the need to protect pollinators. You know, horticulture is really the science and art of growing plants. The gardens are a part of the plant science department here at the UT Institute of Agriculture, an experiment that started more than 35 years ago with just a few plants, and today the number totals more than 6,000. There's also research here regarding animal and insect life. In fact, if you're an insect, feel free to check into the garden's insect motel. It really comes to life when the sun sets. Here's a description of the motel from the human who designed it. Large scale sculptures that are embedded with ultraviolet lights that then glow to attract insects. The insects come, they meet more insects and they make more insects and I invite people to watch. <laughs> Brandon Belongi with the LSU Museum of Natural Science visited the UT Ag Campus recently to talk to people and install the motel. He's both an artist and a biologist. Not just as artists or scientists, but just as human beings. We're both scientific and we're artistic. We respond to the world around us and each other and other species and the environment uh, analytically, but we also do this poetically and emotionally. Belongi says combining science with public art is as natural as the plants and bugs who live here. It's a sight to see what the gardens have to offer these days, exhibits that draw attention to the beauty that man creates and the beauty that nature creates. This is Charles Denny reporting.